Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this tutorial we're going to use a line for an attractor as opposed to the point tutorial. So we're going to use a basic dispatch to say if the this grid is close to this line then create a smaller circle. If it's further away then create a larger circle. So here we'll go ahead and uh, pop a grasshopper and you can see this is the, the definition. It's n not too bad. A few circles are defined with the dispatch and we're going to use the closest point uh, button to analyze this analyze this curve. So the, the first thing we have to do is create that grid. That's under vector point. We've already done a grid rectangular in a few tutorials so we'll do grid hexagonal just for kicks. And this is like kind of a honeycomb uh, configuration. Uh, it asks for radius of the, the cells, so we'll say this radius of points 9, and uh, we can go ahead and toggle that. And then the, the size the, uh, is the distance between points S, so we'll say this distance. And then when we change the distance, uh, the whole thing changes too, or we can make it you know, more dense or, or less dense, depending. So that looks like that'll do it for right now. That's our, our grid. We can go ahead and uh, unpreview uh, the grid. Our attractor curve is this basic curve, so I'll go ahead and set that. And then now we're going to want to analyze the, the distance between this attractor curve and then all the points on, on our grid. So that's going to be under uh, vector or curve analysis curve CP, find the closest point on a curve. So I'll drop that down there. And then C for the curve is going to be our attractor curve. And then our sample point is going to be the uh, whole list of points from this, from our hexagrid right here. So that uh, analyzes those points and then populates a whole ton of points uh, along the that curve. So now we're going to uh, analyze this distance. D is going to be the distance output and we're just going to use a two variable function F2. So I'll pop open the expression editor and then just say X uh, is greater than Y. So then this will figure out which one uh, has a greater distance. So we'll say that X is this distance um, X is the, that uh, distance between the attractor curve and the hexagrid point, and then Y is going to be some proximity, which we'll define with uh, our own slider. So this will return a whole list of values, and you can see them in this panel. Just yes, f true, or no, false, it's not greater than. So that's kind of a, a, a basic l uh, logic command with uh, greater than. Then we'll go ahead and run that through uh, a dispatch, which is another type of logic operator. It's going to be under list dispatch, and this will this will uh, send those false values through B, and then those true values through A. So L is the list to filter this guy right here, which you just viewed, and then P is the parameter to to the dispatch pattern, so true and false, and that that the pattern is actually going to be this uh, that guy up there the the function, and then the list is going to go back to our grid points. Sorry about that. So the the list is all these points, and then if those are individually greater than or less than y, uh, will be verified with these true values or false values. So now that we have these points, we can turn off the hexagrid, and uh, we can even turn off the closest points. And then from here, we'll just go ahead and make some basic circles. So these can just be C and R circles. Uh, circles will come from A and B, so we'll have to have two circles. Uh, one from A for the 
points that are within that distance, so you can see those are even highlighting green right now, and then B, those ones that aren't, the, the ones that aren't uh, that close. So then the uh, radius will just say is this uh, is going to be uh, half of the this the point value for the hexagrid. So I'll just do a f1 function and say that it's x over two, and that'll go into the radius, and that'll come from our individual points and that's the the closer than values and then the f further away values can be defined by the same thing we'll just say that those are going to be x over 8 and then we'll turn off these points the dispatched the dispatched points unpreview those and here you can see that it's telling us if those points are within the proximity which we can toggle right here then they're populated by that first curve the first uh, circle that we defined and then if they aren't then they fall within the B that second circle we defined and then we can uh, switch these these values around two for the circles if we wanted and then make those smaller or larger depending but that's pretty much that